Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you really quick with a review of the Lucas Krill Pastos Acrylic. Is it Lucas Krill Pastos Acrylic Paint. It is a mouthful. I am very sorry. I will not be able to pronounce this name correctly, I'm pretty sure. So I have 10 colors. I got my first five colors back in November of 2014. So I've had this paint for about a year and I bought five more and I can tell you I intend to buy some more. I really like this paint. I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go through the color swatches I have just so that you can see those because I think that's an important part of this. Because like I said, graphic representations online are sometimes really hard to... Sometimes they're not always accurate is a nice way to put that. So I'm going to real quick go through my swatches and tell you about the 10 paints that I have. Now the Lucas Pasto Krills brand, they have or line, they have 70 different colors available in 37 and 200 mil tubes. It's a German brand. It's been around for a long time, well over 100 years. I want to say 200, but it's been around quite a while. And these paints, the Pasto Curls, were actually reformulated in 06, so almost 10 years ago. And I have only tried them within this last year, but I really dig these. So these are my 10 colors that I own. So I have Cobalt Turquoise. Isn't that beautiful? Ultramarine Deep ultramarine violet hue and I will say that with regards to this one I feel like the color doesn't come across as vibrant as beautiful as it is in real life I have matter lake I have lucas red I have yellow ochre I have permanent yellow light cinnabar green light cobalt green green umber titanium white and then iron oxide black so I really enjoy these paints overall like I this is a really cool paint so of these 10 colors, eight of them have a light fast rating of seven or eight or three stars, which is excellent, right? So two of them have a rating of six to seven or two stars. So these are very light fast paints. So I really appreciate and like that. So out of these 10 paints that I own, six of them are single pigments. Four of them are made up of multiple pigments. Of the four that are made up of multiple pigments, Three of them are made up of two, and those are Lake Red, Matter Lake, and Cinnabar Green. And I can tell you I have mixed all of these with other brands of paint as well, um, and they mix fine. The Lake Red, Matter Lake, and Cinnabar Green all mix fine and well with other paints, and I haven't had any issues, even though they are a multi-pigment paint. I will say, the green number is made up of four pigments. I would not recommend you blend that color with anything, but I bought this color for a very specific purpose and it was not to blend it with anything so I am sort of in the clear on that I would not recommend anyone blend this because it's already pretty muddy color I mean it's called green umber it's a dark pretty muddy color so I would say you know that's maybe one to be aware of but the majority of these are all single pigments so you don't have a lot to worry about I really really enjoy these price wise these are a professional grade acrylic the price is good so it is excellent as far as I'm concerned. When I bought these from Jerry's, now that's not to say, I don't know if the sale will still be running when this video goes up or they might have another one on, but when I bought the additional ones outside of the first starter set, if you bought four or more, you got an additional 25% off. So I bought five and it was a deal. I think on average I paid about three dollars a tube and these are 37 mil tubes. They do come in 200 milliliter tubes but these are really pigmented so I think a 37 mil tube is just plenty to start out with especially when you're kind of digging into the professional brands or professional or artist grade, I don't know, whatever you would call it, professional lines of acrylic. This is a really good price. This is a really great product. They call them a heavy body paint. I would say no it's not. I would say it's one step up from that. I would call this an ultra heavy body paint. It is called Pasto Krill for a reason because you can do a lot of those old school old master type techniques that are impasto style techniques and structural and almost sculptural. It is really thick and really just beautiful. It's, it's still creamy. I don't know that I would say it's like it's 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 got the creamy kind of buttery consistency but it's heavier I don't know how else to say that other than to say that and then it, it's still creamy it's still buttery but it's definitely a heavier thicker consistency of paint 
it's not like Liquitex Heavy Body, which is, you know, creamy, buttery, smooth. This is just, it's thicker. So it's not going to be, it's it's smooth, but it's just, it's thicker. So it's a, a heavier, thicker consistency. So it's, it's different. But I would say if you're a person who really likes your brush strokes to show, you're someone who really likes to palette paint, paint or paint with a palette knife, this is a paint for you. So it's a paint for me because I really like to paint a lot with my palette knife. I'm a big fan of that. And in fact, I recently did a painting using the Cinnabar Green Light and I mixed it with, I think I, I mixed it with one of my Liquitex yellows. So I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But if I remember, I will insert a picture in here. So that is the leaves that I made using the Cinnabar Green Light with the Liquitex Yellow. And the Liquitex I mixed with a heavy body gel. So I got the same consistencies because the Liquitex is just not nearly as heavy bodied as this one is. And what I like to do with these is put them on a palette right next to each other and then just barely blend them. And then I will take a spade shaped or a leaf shaped palette knife, whatever you want to call it, and I will pick it up and then I will place it. On the actual painting itself and place leaves. I really love to use that technique to do leaves with. Super cool! That's the only way I can describe it. I really love using these to do palette painting and I know some folks that really like their brush strokes to show. They're hardcore about like they love the brush strokes. So if you like your brush strokes to show, this is a really heavy bodied one. It'll really show. They'll stick up and it's, it's a really cool paint. I would say if you're looking to upgrade to a very heavy bodied professional grade paint, this is a good one to try. I would say the cons are going to be that if you are someone who really prefers to blend a lot, see I like to be on both ends of the spectrum. This one is made with lots and lots of matte medium a couple years ago. This one is a lot and lot and lot of blending. So if you're someone who doesn't like your brush strokes to show, this is not the paint for you. There are other paints out there and you know that that would be more suited because by the time you water this one down enough basically with uh, you know liquid mediums and water it's just not I don't I don't think it's worth the trouble because it's so heavy I would not use this in something where I wanted it to blend I use this where it's something I want the strokes to show or the texture to show or you know I just really want that like almost I want someone to get the feeling that they want to touch that painting when they look at it. That's when I like to use this paint. So I really enjoy using it for that and I think it's great. But like I said, I, I would say really the only con is is that if you're someone that doesn't want your brush strokes to show, this isn't the paint for you. Because, you know, like I said, this is kind of the example where I don't want brush strokes to show necessarily. I'm trying for a more lifelike type of feel to it. And I would say that that is not a paint you want to use for that. But if it is one you really want your brush strokes to show, you're okay, you want texture there, it's a good paint for that. It's just really, really good. Very thick. You can actually have, like, I've done it to where I've had peaks that are, like, yay tall, and they'll just stay, and it's so pretty, and I, I really enjoy that effect. But, like I said, those are kind of my thoughts on this paint. I really do enjoy this. I would say if I were to give this on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, as far as heavy body paint goes, I would say this is an 8.5 to a 9. It's a really nice heavy body paint. Pigmentation is excellent on this, by the way, because sometimes with the ultra heavy bodied stuff, sometimes the pigmentation isn't there, but it really is with this, which is another great thing. So I really like this, and I like that I can layer on these, and I don't have issues with shrinking or cracking or peeling off. I mean, it happens sometimes. I've never had it happen, but it does happen. But these are guaranteed against that, which is also really nice. And I know I've layered on top of layer on top of layer on these and really built up some massive textures and it's really cool stuff you should try it out if you are interested in that style of painting or you know that type of paint so I would say this is one to try if you're interested in really heavy body stuff but so I hope you enjoyed this review of the Lucas Krill Pastos Acrylics I would be interested to see if you have tried the Lucas what do you think of it uh, have you tried because Lucas also makes several lines of acrylic paint so I'd be interested in hearing what you think. I know they make a fluid line that I can't get a hold of here in the States. And Lucas is an older German 
art company. They've been around quite a while. They have a very good reputation. I do have a couple other things from different lines they make. I enjoy quite a bit, but it's a good brand overall, I would say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a huge favor. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.